Hi, I'm Trisha Friedman, and I want to walk you through one of our collections of prompts that's meant to help us engage with our peers in the necessary critical conversations about AI and the many ways that it's going to show up in our lives. So one of the resources included in the guide is this one. This is our Leaning Into Curiosity in Conversation resource that has a series of three sentence starters. Uh, we have found that these sentence starters are really great for coaching conversations, for mentor conversations, for modeling with our students, but also for using with our peers um, when we are maybe engaged in a somewhat emotional or heated debate so that we are remembering to argue respectfully and to argue with curiosity at the core. I think arguments um, and conflict are actually necessary and it's great to have tools like this that remind us um, to again, get curious about our own opinion and about the opinions of others. So we have nine different four corners prompts. So let me show you this first example. Essentially, we would be asking a peer or a group of peers in our personal lives, how comfortable are you with the idea of using AI to rewrite anything you share on your personal social media channels? So if you have a Facebook account, if you're on LinkedIn, um, you know, I would say, yes, LinkedIn might be your professional resource, but I think we also network with some of our personal colleagues there as well. How would you feel about AI generating the content that is shared there? Now, the four corners, the options that we have here are saying, well, okay, I'd be, you know, comfortable testing this out with fill in the blank, a no for now, I can't decide, or yes, without hesitation. This is sort of an immediate yes. So that is one of our examples. Let me take you through a few others. How comfortable are you with AI writing a loved one? Their birthday greeting. How comfortable are you with AI selecting an entire month's worth of your family's entertainment? So what is meant here is, you know, if you have a Netflix account and they are always showing for you, their algorithm is suggesting something for you. Does your family just follow that algorithm for the entire month instead of searching, having the algorithm pick for you? What about using an AI generated photo on your CV? I went through this experience myself. I shared this photo actually with an organization that I was presenting with. I gave them this photo and an actual photo of myself. And I asked them to figure out which one is real Trisha and which one is AI generated Trisha. And what was interesting is the group of organizers are not folks that I had met in person before. And they told me it was really difficult to tell which was which. Now I sent this same image over to my wife and immediately she said, that is very strange. That doesn't look like you at all. Last example, but we have more in the collection. How comfortable are you giving a young person in your life a smart toy that is powered by chat GPT? Now, if you're saying, Trisha, why are you asking me to engage in these science fiction scenarios? They're not. So in the rest of the guide, you're also going to find for each prompt an optional extension resource um, that looks at how these questions are not just uh, rhetorical questions, but these are questions that all of us are going to have to be thinking about. So how might you use this collection of prompts? Um, I'm a big believer in giving folks processing time. So I think I would hand out the prompts at least a day in advance to ask folks to really take some time thinking about where they land, which corner they land in and then come to discuss it. I'm also a big believer in the power of follow-up questions. So I think asking folks to share, yes, which corner are you in, but also to share what was your first instinct? 
and what might change your mind in the future. I think when we ask questions like this, it can serve as a reminder to model intellectual humility and to acknowledge that we do change our minds. Um, I think that's important modeling for our students as well as for our peers. So I hope you enjoy looking through the rest of the collection of the prompts, as well as the extension resources that uh, go alongside them. If you are interested in sharing how those conversations go, we would love to hear from you. You can always reach Jeff and I at info at shiftingschools.com. You can also head over to the website, www.shiftingschools.com and send us a voice memo, or you can join us at Shifting Schools Camp. That's camp.shiftingschools.com. All three of those places are in the video description for this video. Over there in camp, you can connect with us as well as other educators. And if you're interested in hosting these conversations, because you are also a school leader who is tasked with leading during these turbulent times, when you're over there in camp.shiftingschools.com, you can join our Leading in the Era of Generative AI course completely free. We actually have a section in that course that's all about really... Um, handling the change management piece. And I think that is such a crucial conversation for us to be thinking about because of course, with generative AI tools, there's a lot of uncertainty. So I think some of the questions that are in this guide that ask us to be thinking about how comfortable we are or are not, um, that is a part of the change management, letting folks express their opinion, giving them the space to express their concerns and to talk about where those concerns and questions are coming from. Thanks again for watching.